It's okay. You don't have to tell me that my desk looks like a garbage disposal unit that was annihilated by a typhoon recently. In fact, you might want to send me some disaster relief funds or buy me a coffee because it's as bad as it gets. But that doesn't matter because if you're a poor bloke like me, this desk is the only desk you can afford and use to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Simple pleasures in life like taking a sip of coffee while reading manga, while watching your favorite YouTuber, and maybe pulling for that long-awaited pink-haired gremlin in a gacha game that you play. As a retired Twitch streamer and as someone who likes playing video games, gaming is part of my life. That's why it's part of this vlog. But tonight, I'm not just a retired Twitch streamer. I'm going to pretend that I'm still a streamer because in the streaming circle, there's a thing we call streamer's luck. And I'm gonna need all the luck I can get to pull Fu Xuan, a character in a gacha game that I currently enjoy, Honkai Star Rail. Okay, by the way, I don't want to incur the wrath of the fans of other characters because you know how fans can be, so this is just between the two of us. But I do my own personal theory crafting, and as soon as I saw her kid, I knew that Fu Xuan was arguably going to be the best character in the game. Just don't tell anybody. Okay, hopefully you can see that banner over there. Well, I'll try to give some context, especially if you're not familiar with the game. I'm going to try to simplify my language. Basically, all that you need to know is that there have been a lot of banners for characters like this one over here, and I skipped three of them, specifically just to save enough wishes to pull for this character. And I'm going to give you predictions, okay? Within the next 30 pulls on this banner, I'm going to get two of the four star characters that I want to get named Lynx, and then I'm gonna win the 50-50 chance to get this pink-haired gremlin right here. And then I'm gonna transfer over to this banner, essentially the weapon banner of this game, and win the 75% chance to get this nice light cone or weapon for her. Let's do it. Okay, so last minute context for those of you that know the game, I'm about 30 pulls away from Heart Pity for the character and 30 pulls away from Heart Pity for the light cone. I'm a battle pass user and nothing is guaranteed. That's all you need to know. First temple. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Just give me Miss Eurocamp, please. Come on, come on. I need the girl with the canned sardines. Let's go. Let's go. I could use another healer. Boom! First character that I need. What's that? Like beer? Man, is she old enough to buy a beer? Another Lynx? And a Fu Xuan, here we go. Whoa! Here we go. <laughs> Fu Xuan. Oh! Okay. I thought that was the five star. Damn. Damn, look at this Iron Moss cosplaying tank. I'm a gamer. What can I say? I'm a god gamer. I predicted it too. All right, I got the Fu Xuan, but I can do another extra 10 pull just to try to get one more Lynx. Oh, what the f That means another five star, baby, let's go. Um, top player coming through. Make way. Push one again. Boom, baby! I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking at the screen. Fuck I off, you little way. bitch! I, can see the iron I fucking hate this. The I hate him. Oh. I hate. Look at this fucker trying to act all cute. I ought to knock him the fuck out. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate it! Ah, <sighs> the small pleasures in life. And we're not saying small because she's small, like, she's literally the size of a garden gnome. But I'm not saying small because of that, okay? The moment of truth, if I can get the weapon, that would be amazing. Okay, to be fair, I don't really need this light cone because I can beat Memory of Chaos 
30 stars with E0 5 star characters. And I already beat the Swarm Disaster difficulty 5 about 5 times, I think, with 5 different paths. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make my life a whole lot easier by getting this thing. Let's go. First temple on the weapon banner. Come on, come on. Under the blue sky, okay. Ooh, turn of the universal market. I get another perfect timing, that's perfect. Then I get a super in position five of that. <gasps> Sweet Jesus, how many four star life cones can that one man have? One more for the road? Damn, okay, one, two, three, four. Not bad, not bad. Third temple on the light cone banner. I'm not even gonna look, this is gonna be a five star. Is it a five star? I actually don't know, I can't see. Is it gonna be a five star? Can we see a yellow? Boom, I think I see it. I'm still not looking at the screen. I'm looking at the camera right now. I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at the camera. You little okay let's review what we got let's review what we got we got a constellation or an eidolon eidolon oh for himiko we got e6 for herta we got my boy don hung to e2 hook to e5 or e5 e6 i guess eidolon one damn 30 percent crit damage I dole on one Fushuan. And uh, how many of this? Wait a minute. E2. Blinks. Not bad. Surprise! Next day. Long story short, Fushuan is already built. She's got maxed out talents of my account. Level up Light Cone, level up everything. Her relics are like, eh. But she's still doing everything that's advertised, plus a whole lot more. You're no fun, but you the gist of why I think she's the best character in the game is that most of the max HP scaling characters made by Hoyoverse are pretty damn good. And then Honkai Star Rail, a turn-based game that requires you to have a lot of good defensive options because you're definitely going to get hit. Fushuan attack with an ult, she heal, she protect, she keep your whole party alive, you win the game. Congratulations. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> ようなファンディングなバトル体験。2倍速度でこんなもん。へ。楽にした。ショート I'm just so glad I got a preservation character. As I mentioned previously, I've already cleared MOC 10. I've practically beaten the game and I do it every two weeks. And I've already cleared Swarm Disaster even without using a preservation character. But when I was just using Luocha to sustain my entire team, there was this looming paranoia that my characters will get one shot or that one of my characters will lose the favor of the RNG gods, get ganged upon, and be summarily executed. And Fushuan just changed that for me. I no longer look over my shoulder in fear of those things happening to my team. As a preservation character, by design, Fushuan can be put into a lot of different teams, maybe any team, and I think that will last for a long time. But there's one more key factor why I think she's in the conversation for best character in the game, and another thing that I learned from Genshin Impact is that she doesn't rely on her burst. In Genshin Impact, my favorite character is actually Hu Tao, and gameplay-wise, she is amazing because she doesn't rely on her elemental burst in order to deal damage. She uses her elemental skill in order to boost her normal attacks, her charge attacks, and to give her charge attacks a butterfly effect. And that's amazing because there are some enemies in Genshin Impact that drain your energy. And mark my words, that will happen in Hawkeye Star Rail as well, and when that day comes, all the good hard users, hard users, whatever his name is, will have some problems because uh, he relies on his energy in order to provide shielding. And Fushuan doesn't have that problem. 
But let's stop here for now. I really just wanted to give you a preview of the, the streamer side of Kusanagi, the gamer side of Kusanagi. Well, the gacha gamer side of Kusanagi. So I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and simple. The simple pleasures in life. But you there, down below, what do you think? Should I start streaming again? Thank you.